Good morning, family, once more. This is Miss Norma. Today is September the 23rd. Happy Sabbath. Shabbat Shalom to everyone. So glad to truly, truly be here. Amen. Amen. Um, our reading for today is titled, Don't Ignore the Signs, and it's from the devotional book, New Every Morning. Our scripture lesson is Matthew 24 and verse 33. It says, so you also, when you see all these things, know that it is near at the doors. Amen. Amen. Blessing and healing to all our land. Thank you once more, um, prayer warriors. Thank you for those who not only pray for other prayer requests here or share their own, but pray for uh, just the world at large. We already know there's so many things happening and going on. Changes are happening so fast. All types of disc discord in the world. But may God grant us peace where we are. Let us pray, family. Abba Father, we just want to say thank you and bless your name this morning. We want to thank you, Lord, for being able to rest, Lord to rest, Lord, and to trust you with the things that are beating down upon us. Lord, so many of the different readings we have shared together that encourage us to turn to you and leave it where it is. Father, how we can just take our hands off it, Lord. We do it in every other things, Lord, but spiritually, Lord, mentally and emotionally, we have to learn to let go. So, Father, for my YouTube and TikTok family out there, myself as well included in this number, Lord, help us to continue to allow your presence up here so that it can work its way out through us, Father. We know that stress is doing a lot of damage to our bodies, Lord. Father, we know that worry only takes away. It doesn't give us anything. So, Lord, um, wherever we are, and, Lord, some of us might be in a calamity. It might be a personal disaster. It could be a natural disaster, Lord, or it could be somebody else's stuff spilling over into our lives, our Father. Oh, God, help us to manage it and help us to give it back to you because you knew it was coming. It was no surprise to you what is on our plate today, what is on our plate when we walk out the door, what is on our plate when we turn left or turn right. Oh, Lord, what is on our plate when someone knocks and comes in for a visit? And, Lord, it may not be all what we expected. Lord, bless us, Lord, where we might have offended someone with our mouths, Lord, or with actions, deeds, with our hands. Father, whatever the course is over each one of us personally and collectively, let the blanket drop over us, Lord, and let our personal blessings come down. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen, family. Good morning. Good morning. Once more, good morning. Our reading, Don't Ignore the Signs. I need a little more light here. Don't Ignore the Signs. Whew. On a recent trip from Tennessee to our home in New Hampshire, USA, I abandoned my post as my husband's navigator to take a short nap. During this time, my husband thought he saw a sign indicating a delay ahead, but he wasn't sure. When he noticed a lot of traffic on an overpass, he assumed that the, that the delay was for that road instead of the interstate that we're on. However, about a mile later, we came to a grinding halt and were stuck for five hours because of a mile, because of a tractor trailer accident. We realized too late that the sign was meant that, that we realized too late that the sign was meant for us. That immediately brought my mind to another time that I had missed some signs. I was at home working on some notes for my next lecture when the birthing center at my local hospital called, saying that the woman in labor needed a doula. 
I immediately left for the hospital, which is just 12 minutes away. When I arrived, the circumstances had, had changed dramatically and my services were needed for only about 15 minutes. I was back home within 45 minutes. As I drove up my driveway, I noticed a vehicle parked on the side of the road, which I found unusual, but no red flags were raised. Upon entering my garage, I noticed the lights were on. Hmm, that's odd. I thought I had turned those lights off. I climbed the stairs from my basement into the house and resumed work on my lecture notes again. But my laptop was lying on the floor. I didn't put it there. Hmm. Oh well, I must have. I then remembered that I had a load of laundry in the dryer that needed to be folded. As I walked to the laundry room, I noticed that my back door was unlocked. Hmm. Did I forget to lock that when I waved goodbye to my husband that morning? That's not like me. I had gathered my laundry and was heading upstairs to fold it when my husband called. We were chatting as I entered my bedroom and screamed. My whole bedroom was torn apart. We had been burglarized. How many signs had I ignored or rationalized away? Am I guilty of that in my spiritual walk as well? Lord, you have given us so many signs of your soon return. Help us to pay attention, not to rationalize away or ignore signs. Help us to be watchful as we wait. Amen. Amen. Our reading today was written by Diane McLean Gaspard. Amen. Mm. Don't ignore the signs. Abba Father, Lord Jesus. Father, as we look around at the things happening in the world, and as we refresh ourselves in the study of the scriptures, Lord, we see that things that are talked about in the Bible, Lord, pro prophecy, Lord, we see things unfolding before us. Some of us have some understanding, and some of us, Lord, we don't even have a clue. We don't even realize, Lord, how close we are to your soon return. Father, give us a thirsting for your word as we read um, these different devotional readings, as the scripture lessons are given to us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to not only read that scripture, but to press a little further and read on. Father, help us to be prepared and ready, because you said you're coming back for people that are ready, Lord. You know the time. We don't know it. The scriptures tell us we don't know the time of the hour. You don't know the time of the hour. It's when your Father says it's time to go. So, Abba Father, thank you for this reading this morning that will maybe, Lord, light a fire up underneath us, Lord, where one needs to be lit, and help us to be ready and prepared when you return. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for being our strength, our courage, our fortitude, everything that we need in any circumstances that we are facing. And Lord, I'd just like to say I'm so grateful that this woman was not home because, Lord, Lord, she may not have been able to write this story. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, family. I'll tell you, my home has been burglarized before, and it is a horrible feeling um, when someone has rifled through your stuff and turned your drawers in your closet inside out searching and looking and grabbing things that are precious to you lord that you never see again lord continue to just bless us and to know that there is a thief out there and his name is satan and he will rob you and steal from you your eternal salvation Lord, help us to cling to you and remind him and tell him, get behind me, Satan. You are not in my life. 
Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessing and healing, family. Amen.